Tony Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcy? Mm, I heard about Sammy Nellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. What's this? This? This is Jack Nav Johnson. What's he here for? 
Fuck you mean, what are you here for? We're here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. Stay hey, back, frosty. Boy. I ain't covering your sorry ass if you fuck up. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, I'll see. All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. New guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name, then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Go on, they're waiting on you. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall. Weighing approximately 220 pounds, this is Jack Knife Johnson! Kick the piss out of here! Knock his teeth in! Dead brother here! Just had to start something. Motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Beat the black off him. What the <laughs> fuck you call that? I said hit that motherfucker. Jack Knight Johnson! 
Jackson! <laughs> All right, that's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work its way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they bind, you be... Drop him! Fire it! Fire it! <laughs> <laughs> Out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. So that's that then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. like this. Not like this! Say hello to Lou. Tell him Sal will be along shortly. Ah, oh, hey, bastard got low. 
Rocky. to make in South Downs. Be there soon. Get in line behind me, boys. Here's uh, all uh, yours, boys. <laughs> Grab I'm pinned down! Ah.
Get asshole! Twelve o'clock! Get that stupid son of a bitch! Oh, no, no. oh. I'm break him in half! plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Langan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Passion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Motherfucking king! Nice work out there. The entire goddamn city's buzzing about what we've done to Makano. There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. The Irish are locking down all the action here, so I expect this district to come my way. I'll have no part of being tossed aside like you did last time. Skeletta's a pompous ass, and you validated his ways by chipping off most of this city to him. But this piece right here belongs with the Haitians. Last time we sat at this table, you called on me. Why? Because you know I'm the motherfucker who gets shit done. Always will be. Let's finish this together. It's what Danny would have wanted. I stuck around this long when I could have turned you over to Marcano with one phone call. You got to reward that kind of loyalty. You got no this city is ours, Lincoln Clay.
Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh... Take your time, lad. Wouldn't want to fuck up his last piece of the city. <laughs> Don't second-guess this, Lincoln. It's never an easy answer, trust me, I know. This one's all you, Bert. I got big plans for this one, lad. And it starts with a statue of Marcano getting arse-fucked by a goddamn badger. Holy Christ, how the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. It may not have all played out the way I would have liked. But we're here, and we're making money. And Lord knows, I'm a hell of a lot better at being alive than I am at being dead. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. I, I halfway figured Lincoln would have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. Not everything went the way I would have liked it to go, but I'm proud of what I have and what we starting here. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. <laughs>